All right, so today we will do tutorial chapter 8, uh, question number 1 and 2. With me, Madam Shahida. All right, this question number 1, a rigid body rotate about a fixed axis through a point in a body with a uniform angular velocity 600 rpm. So what is rpm? Revolution per minute. So this is revolution per minute. The velocity decrease at constant retardation of 300 rpm in 60 seconds so this is your omega naught so this is your omega final they given you within this time last six seconds determine the angular acceleration so we want to find the alpha so the first question a they ask you to find alpha so what is the formula of alpha as you know that we can use the formula in uh, chapter 2 it's the same one uh, which is v equals to u plus et where v is omega equals to omega naught plus alpha t so because we are want to find the alpha here the angular acceleration we have omega omega naught and we have t so that's why we use the formula so before we use this formula we need to change lah everything uh, the omega and omega naught okay so what is our omega so my omega first so my omega naught equals to c revolution per minute so i need to change into uh, rp as per uh, i need to change into rec as negative one so one revolution is to five so divide by 60 lah. so here i will get my answer is 25 rec as negative one okay then i will change my omega so my omega is 300 revolution per minute so times to five divided by so I will get here my 10 by red S divided. Okay, so then after we already uh, do the SI unit, the red here and red here, so we can use the formula omega equals to omega naught plus plus alpha t. Okay, we want to make alpha a subject, so omega minus omega naught divided by t. So my omega here is 10. Pi minus 20 pi divided by the time is second, so you will get your answer is uh, negative 5.2. So you negative 5 as negative 2. Sorry, negative 2 because this one is a uh, angular acceleration. Alright, the question number B, they ask you to number of revolution. So what is number of revolution? It's actually the theta. Lah. They ask you to find the theta when the body turns through 6 seconds. So they ask you to find theta within 6 seconds. Alright, actually theta here is equal to S uh, for linear motion. Lah. So we can use the formula S equals to UT plus half AT squared. So when we change into rotational, it becomes theta equals to omega naught T plus half alpha T squared. So we want to find the theta omega. We already have there the one that we change. Yeah? Make sure everything is our unit. So 20 pi your time is 6 second plus half your alpha. Tadi you dapat negative uh, 5.2 right. So 5.2 so 6 squared. So the one that you will get here your final answer. Make sure yeah, this one uh, because you get here in uh, unit red. So you get 19 pi. So this one in unit red. But the question asks you to change into, they ask you to find theta, number of revolution, not red. So what you need to do, you just divide by 2 pi. So when you divide by 2 pi, pi pi cancel. So the final answer you get is 45 revolution. revolution. So this is your final answer. Okay, number C, they ask you to find the extra time. So they ask you to find time needed for the body to come to stop. So meaning your omega final is zero lah. If it continue with a slow down at the same rate, so meaning your alpha is same. Uh, meaning your alpha is constant. Okay, so now they ask you to find time. So what the formula we can use? Actually, we can use the formula V u plus e t. So actually, this is omega, omega naught plus alpha t. Okay, so alpha uh, omega here because this is the final is zero, so zero omega not we use the earliest one lah, the earliest one that uh, we get uh, before because they ask you extra time, so it's not the the one uh, we got because we now we have omega not is twenty pi and then omega for that one we have ten pi, 
Okay, we use the 10 pi because extra, the word extra time, eh, it's not from the initial to final. Dia bukan minta daripada awal because dia minta berapa uh, masa diperlukan. So, we start from 10 pi. So, plus uh, the one that you get uh, alpha tadi, negative for 2. So, this one lah you want to find times. So, this one negative bring that. Okay, yang ni terkong calculator lah sekali jalan. So, you get the answer is 6 seconds. So, this is the extra time needed. Alright. Alright, question number 2. Apply will accelerate uniformly. So, the word accelerate uniformly may not, not means A0. A ni ada nilai, ada value. Okay, and start from rest. So, your omega node is 0. So, your time is T, 6 seconds. is observed at the end of the 6 seconds. The fly will rotate through an angle 450 red. So, this is your theta. Eh? Ini theta. Walaupun dia cakap angle. Angle tu sebenarnya maksudnya dia punya displacement lah. Angular displacement. Calculate the fly will A, the average angular velocity during 6 seconds. So, they ask you to calculate the angular velocity. So, when we're talking about angular velocity, we are talking about uh, the rate change of angular displacement. So, if you remember back chapter 2, what is average velocity? The rate change of uh, displacement. So, but now, because the word angular velocity, so omega average is the rate change, the rate change of theta divided by delta t. So, we need from the definition. So, delta theta u, because they give you, they rotate 450. So, this is 450. Zero because your angle rotation is start from 0 to 450 rest. And then, by delta t, 6. So, here, when we write here, if also what answer you would get 65 red so this one is again 65 so this is your omega uh, for average alright question number b they ask you to calculate the angular velocity at the end so they ask you to find omega final ok number a tadi you cari adalah average so we know that v omega average is to omega initial plus omega divided by 2 because this we are talking about average lah, apa rata, right? So, omega average, the one that you get tadi adalah 75. 75 omega initial because they start from rest 0. So, this is the omega final you need to find. So, you divide by 2. So, you get lah, the omega final is 150. Sebab yang tadi you cari tu adalah omega average. Ha, yang ini sekarang baru omega final. Alright, number C, they ask you to find angular acceleration. So, they ask you to find alpha. So, we can use the formula Wuat lah. So, which is equal to omega to omega naught plus alpha T. So, we want to find alpha. So, our omega here tadi, the one that you get lah, 150 equals to uh, 0 because early dia tak ada. So, plus alpha, your time is the total genetics lah. So, here you get your alpha is 25 red. So this is your answer.